All right, so today is the day. We are fixing to set up this new tartar system. First, we got to tear down our old uh, alleyway, redo it just a little bit. Even got to pull up some of our pipes that we pounded into the ground. We're going to end up making this alleyway wider. That way it'll funnel directly into the new sweep system and just make a life a whole lot easier for everybody. And we won't have the calves turning around or flipping upside down like they did in one of the last videos. So we're going to get busy stripping this all out. We're actually going to leave the uh, holding pins over here just, uh, just the way they are. I'll probably end up buying some extra bow gates to make all this easier. That way I can have three separating pins and use the new alleyway to separate where I want them to go. After we get it all up and going, I think it'll make a whole lot more sense to everybody. So we're gonna get busy. We'll, uh, we'll check back in here in a little bit. So we are getting it put together. Actually, we're in the tearing down part right now. Um, we have struggled with this system for literally years now. Uh, but I think it takes a little bit when you're first getting into cattle and different kinds of animals to figure out what you need and what works. You can dream it all up on paper, but until you really get in there and start running cows through your system, you're not gonna see your weaknesses and hey, I wish I would have done this different. So this is actually the perfect time for us because we're getting to go back. It's almost like building a house and then you realize, hey, if I ever built another one, I know exactly what I want. And that's what we're doing today. We're rebuilding the house and this is going to be just about perfect for us. It's gonna solve all the little problems we've had along the way. We're getting it all put together. It's super exciting. Look at this beautiful equipment. It is such a blessing and we are just really pumped to have it. Can't wait to run our first animals through it and see how well it works and not be struggling to get chutes open and gates open and get our trailer backed up because it's too tight of an area and all those things. We're gonna get it just perfect. So hang around. Emily, you are doing awesome. Thanks. I might give you a bonus today. What do you think? Okay. What's You're that? Consist that. of ice cream or something? Yeah, it's not going to be money. You're holding that panel up amazing okay, though. Cool. Oh, I'm slacking. Yeah, you better pay attention. <laughs> I have a question for you. What? Why is there three flower pots spread out on the ground? Because there's three like six foot deep holes in the ground and you don't want to break an ankle. So flower pots? That's have they always been here? That's all we had. I found them on the oh, ground. Oh, did you put them out today? Yeah, I found them on the ground. Oh, okay. <laughs> With all those for trash. That's concerning.
you're putting these in, you need, I'm gonna say at least three people. Definitely makes it a whole lot easier because you've about got to go on both pieces at the same time. They're a real tight fit, which makes for sturdy equipment. While the guys are finishing setting up the corral, Lane and I are actually gonna go get some cows and bring them up and run them through this new system. So right now the cows are way back there. Uh, Our rotational grazing system goes around that way to the west and down and then back up this east side. And so they've just come from where the corral is. They're going down the west side, but we wanna run some up here and give this new system a try. So we're gonna go get some. Lane has set up a wire. There's there's some gates right about in there um, that connects the two sides. We're gonna bring them up to where they can be on this east side and we've put a funnel wire. Uh, we have found over time that a hot wire that's not actually hot works really well for us. Our cows are trained to stay behind one hot wire. We find that works well as long as you have a good charger uh, that they will respect. They will stay behind one wire about knee high. Uh, and we've also found a super stress-free way for us to work our cattle is to use what we call a fake hot wire. So we get a hot wire and we go behind them and we can pretty much push them anywhere we need to go. They go without fighting us and it's just a lot less stress on animals and people. So that's what we're gonna do. We're setting this funnel wire up. We're gonna go get another hot wire to push them with. Um, the funnel wire will help us, but also it'll keep us when we let them out of the crowd from going back down this east side um, because they really need to be going over and circulating down the west side. So we don't want to, them to get away from us and us be chasing cows later. All right, here's the plan. Lane just told me, so I'm gonna tell y'all. We're gonna try to get 20-ish of these, hopefully not crazy ones, brought through. Lane and I are gonna be behind them with the fake hot wire. Emily's gonna be driving in the truck, aren't you? Yup, not wrecking. So that way we don't have to walk all the way back to the truck, and then we're gonna take them to the crowd. Lane is awesome at this stuff. Look at him go. He's got us a group of them. Good job, bub. Okay. Emily! While we're standing here a minute, this is an amazing view of how rotational grazing and rolling out your hay works. You can see over there, we have not rolled hay yet and focused on that area. We have focused on this area this year. This was covered in sage grass, even worse than that side. And look at it now. It does work. And you can see the end of the season we focused back here. It's not as clear, but look how much less sage there is there than there where we've not focused at all. All right, y'all ready to go? Go see the new corral. Come on, come on. Herding cows, you can't let anyone buy you or they see an exit and they all want to double back. All right, we got it going now. Almost there, getting closer. All right, one leg of this is down. Got to get them up to the corral. So far, so good. There we go. Now we're going. And once I get to this road, they are pretty much trapped.
So one of the big things I was excited about is we're getting an adjustable alleyway. If you watched, um, it was like three videos ago when we was running calves up, we actually had a calf turn around in our old alleyway, run backwards and flip one of our heifer calves upside down and got trampled. Uh, but with this new system, you can take the alleyway And now we've shrunk it down for a size for uh, smaller calves. Now they can't turn around. So with this new system, we can run any size in here, anywhere from full, full grown cows to baby calves and just adjust the alleyway accordingly. So with this new system like this, we can run anything in here from baby calves to wieners to yearlings. Don't say wieners. Wieners. Don't like that. I look at DJ. Scott, please cut that part. <laughs> That's Kay. true raw footage right there. <laughs> you will see that again. <laughs> I don't even remember where to start over. How about just say something like we can all run them through here, all sizes. There you go. That's safe. <laughs> <laughs>